Ladies and gentlemen, we are set for action to resume here at Richmond Coliseum, making his way to the Draka Cage, Maxim Stepanko. And Ryan, here is where the rubber meets the road. Maxim Stepanko, the first of the Russian fighters, our guest here in Richmond, Professional Russian fighter, uh, first fought on Draka 4 in 2009. Three and two is a pro. Maxime has had marginal success in MMA with a three and three record, but he's had tremendous success in other combat sports. He's been a Russian Sambo champion, a kickboxing champion in Siberia and the Far East. Uh, and as we know of Russian fighters, they are uh, tough as nails. Uh, actually has a decision loss to Alexander Matmuratov, who we'll see in the next fight. So. Uh, these guys have been here for a few days, getting acclimated to America, and they are ready to, to battle. Cannot wait. Looking forward to it. One thing I admire about a lot of Russian pros. Stone cold, uh, faceless fighters of all time. He would come to the ring looking upset, grumpy, go in, knock somebody out, go home. Same expression. Never rattled. And, and that's, that's Russians. They're strong. They're tough. They're proud. And have a huge, a wonderful history in the fight. And sport. his opponent, Jeremy Carper. Here comes 35-year-old Jeremy Carper. What a fun guy to watch in the cage, the way he uses his Muay Thai. Uh, six feet tall at 155 pounds, just a handful. He starred in MMA. He starred and succeeded in Muay Thai kickboxing, and he brings that Muay Thai style to the MMA cage. Don't be fooled though, fans. He does have several wins by submission. Guys think they can take him down. They think he's just a stand-up fighter. He's not. He will get you if you take it to the ground. Very dangerous fighter, Jeremy Carper, in his last professional fight, Jay. Retirement fight for Carper. Retirement fight for Carper. It's been a long career. He said, I'm 35 years old. I really, you know, my joy is, is with training my guys. You know, I find it harder and harder to cut weight every time. It takes more of a toll on his body. And, uh, you know, he just loves teaching and, and, and pushing his guys to the level of success that he has had in MMA. Well, I mean, what a source of experience, what a source of knowledge for his students. And here's a guy, one of the fun things to watch Jeremy Carper do is his leg kicks and his Muay Thai kicks, which could cover this entire cage sometimes, <laughs> it seems like. The whole radius of his kick going to be a fun one. The following bout is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the Draco Rules Lightweight Division. Introducing first, the man standing to my right and fighting out of the blue corner. He stands five feet nine inches tall and weighed in at 155 and one half pounds. He is a sambo and a kickboxing specialist. His record three victories, opposite three defeats, fighting out of Russia, Maxi. Stepanko! His opponent stands across the cage to my left and fights out of the red corner. He stands six feet tall. He weighed in officially at 155 and one quarter pounds. He is a Muay Thai kickboxing specialist. His record, six victories, opposites, five defeats, fighting out of Martinsburg, West Virginia. Jeremy Carper! Your referee, Scott Howard. Mike Markham, the best in the business. And of course, Ryan, another one of those aphorisms, styles make fights. What do we need? To see, to see from Stepenko to counter all the things that we know Carper's good at. Well, here's what we've got, Jay. We've got two guys. One's a kickboxing champion. One's a Muay Thai fighter. Um, the, the difference between these two fighters could potentially be the Sambo of Stepenko. If he's able to get it to the ground, what he can do on the ground. And again, as I said, Carper, very tricky on the ground. Can get you in a guillotine, uh, anything, very quickly. So this and should be a great matchup. There's two huge leg kicks from Carper. One of it takes Stepenko to the ground. Carper trying to work to free his hands, work on ground and pound. Stepenko doing a good job. Oh, now eating a few, but doing a pretty good job of defending from those Carper bombs on the ground. Carper looking ferocious right in front of our broadcast position. Fighting like it's his last fight, Jay. 
and inviting Stepenko back up onto his feet. Those patented Carper leg kicks. Oh, beautiful spinning mid kick. Jay, this is a j different Jeremy Carper than I've seen in a long time. He is focused. He is driven. He is bringing the thunder to Stepenko. And he does not look like a fighter who's about to retire, does he? Looks like a fighter who's just getting warmed up. Stepenko working some good dirty boxing inside early. Good control by Carper as he was looking for that single uh, double leg. Controlling this fight against the cage is Carper. Nice knee to the midsection oh. by Jeremy. Again, though, Stepenko, as we as we alluded to earlier, not panicking, just biding no, his Kong time. No, Kong collected, landed, landed a serious blow. Looked like a short hand, and changed the entire complexion of this fight just like that. A body shot to Carper that doubled him over. And Maxime Stepenko is wondering what the big deal was. A vicious body blow. Hopefully we will see it on the replay because all the action took place right in front of our broadcast position, but it was difficult to see. Carper absolutely had the upper hand, but a big body blow from Stepenko changes the entire fight. And we're going to see it again here in the replay. Let's see. Oh, that short left hand from Shepenko right on the liver. And those are extremely dangerous shots. It's a shot that almost every fighter trains for. Shepenko calm, cool, and collected in the clinch. Had taken some big shots from Carper. Carper looked like he was dictating the action. And just that one short shot from Shepenko. And it may have sent Jeremy Carper into retirement. If Topenko comes over to Carper, bows, hugs. You see good sportsmanship in other sports, but none better than MMA. Here's Mike Markham. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Scott Howard halts this bout at 1 minute 35 seconds of the opening round due to excessive strikes. Your winner by technical knockout, Maxi. And Stepenko! I'm here with your winner, Maxime Stepenko. Congratulations on a great win here tonight against a very game, Jamie Car Jeremy Carper. Talk to us about Talk to us about the great fans here in Richmond, the first Draca fight in America. How are you feeling right now? I'm feeling great. <laughs> I want to say uh, thank you very much. I'm glad to be here and fight in America. My first time in this great country. Well, it was I'm happy. It's happy. Well, we're happy too. It was a great performance, Maxine. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I want to bring Jeremy Carper in. I'm not going to keep him long, but fans, I want everybody to give a, a big round of applause to this young man. I've been following Jeremy for most of his MMA career, almost back to the very start. This is Jeremy's last fight as an MMA fighter. I just want to say, Jeremy, congratulations to you on a great career. I know it was a tough night tonight, but thank you for ever, everything you've done for the sport of MMA. Thank you for your performance here tonight. Thank you, Ryan, and thank you, Richmond. Uh, I fought in this city more than, more than anything I fought in. Every time I come here, everyone's really cool, really respectful, and it's just time to hang it up. Uh, 
getting older and can't keep up with these young guys anymore. So it's time to start passing the knowledge on to the younger, younger guys and girls and move on to the next chapter. Thank you guys so much. Jeremy Carper, everybody. Farewell to Jeremy Carper and a hello to Maxime Stepanko. Perfectly accurate, perfectly timed, perfectly weathered storm. And a body blow that sends Jeremy Carper into retirement. The best in the business, Mike Markham.